When you put your blood pressure cuff on, make sure that it is snug on your arm, but that it's not too tight. This is really important. You don't want it too tight. Uh, something else, a lot of you guys were asking about um, with blood pressures, by the way, this is my blood pressure cuff. Many of you said you had this brand. If you're looking for a validated brand of home blood pressure cuffs, you can go to validatebp.org and it gives you a great list of things there. But many of you guys, you know, I did that video on how to check your blood pressure at home. Many of you were asking me, how do you, and how can you tell what size blood pressure cuff you need? This is really important, guys, because if your blood pressure cuff is too tight on your arm, if it's too small of a cuff for you, your blood pressure could read inappropriately high. So it could seem higher, your blood pressure, than it actually is. If your blood pressure cuff is too loose on your arm, your blood pressure could actually read too low. This is really important. So first thing you want to do, I'm going to show you how to, um, to figure this out. First thing you want to do is get your home blood pressure cuff if you haven't already. Um, many blood pressure cuffs on them will literally list um, the size of the arm that needs to go on the cuff, or rather, um, uh, the cuff needs to go on. So this is my blood pressure cuff. This measures a size of 22 to 42 centimeters. It also gives the inches, 9 to 17 inches, is the arm circumference that is ideal for this cuff size. So you may be wondering, well, what is my arm circumference? And by the way, so when you're looking and you're shopping, this is the box here, uh, you're shopping for blood pressure cuffs, make sure you check the label, check, check the back before you buy it uh, to look for the right size for you. So the way that you check to see your arm circumference, which is what you need, um, is you first need a tape measure, okay? This works best if you do this with two people. I don't have a second person, so bear with me. Um, the way that you check your arm circumference is you want to make sure you check your, um, the circumference means basically uh, how uh, how big your arm is sort of in the center where the blood pressure cuff will go. Um, so how you figure that out, and pardon this um, this, <laughs> this tape measure, which is a little a little beat up. What you want to do with a tape measure is somebody's going to go behind you. Okay, let me just stand up like this. They're going to measure from here to the elbow, okay? And they'll take half that distance, and that's where you measure. So I, it's only just me. So if you go from there to there, I don't know if it's, what, 13 or 14 uh, inches or so, so maybe seven and a half. So that kind of puts us around here. Again, this is a very quick and dirty way, but somebody else would do this. They would measure from the top, uh, the back of the um, uh, the shoulder blade uh, down to the elbow and then cut that in half. So for me, I know sort of where that is. I'm gonna take my tape measure, which is about the, the muscle belly of my arm. This I think I can do on my own. Bear with me. Uh. Okay. So I see that I'm about 11 inches, okay? Um, that's the circumference of my upper arm. And where that correlates to is you go back to your blood pressure cuff. You take a look at the blood pressure cuff and you wanna take a look at the back of the box if you have not purchased it yet or on the blood pressure cuff that you have. This one reads, uh, this is good for nine to 17 inches or you can measure in centimeters, that's 22 to 42 centimeters. So um, since I'm 11 inches and this is between nine to 17 inches, I know that this is the right blood pressure cuff for me. Um, but guys, this is super important. You wanna make sure that you are measuring your arm and buying the appropriate blood pressure cuff because once again, if you buy a cuff that is too small, it's going to potentially read high. Your blood pressure, if you buy a cuff that's too large, it's potentially gonna read too low. Um, remember, when you take your blood pressure, we talked about this, but this little guy needs to be sort of in the middle, okay? Um, check out the other video I did on how to check your blood pressure at home. I hope this is helpful for at least giving you some tips about the tightness and also how to make sure you have the right size because that is actually a big, big important part of this. And as always, I've said this before, take your blood pressure cuff into your doctor so that they can check your blood pressure cuff that you have at home against what they do in the office to make sure that what you're getting at home is accurate, okay? Let me know what you do. Let me know if you've checked your arm circumference, if you've made sure and made sure that you've got the right cuff size. This is super important. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Well, if you've not subscribed to my channel and clicked the little bell for updates, I invite you to do so. Guys, I'll see you soon. Oh, consider joining my subscription groups as well. We'll see you soon.